New at four, big business on the moon. NASA announcing it wants to pay private companies to collect lunar samples. New Six's James Barbero takes a closer look at how it could work once Americans return to the moon. The surface appears to be very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Beginning with Apollo 11, astronauts like Neil Armstrong collected moon rocks on six missions. Fine and powdery. I can pick it up loosely with my toe. A half century later, NASA announcing it's opening up competition for the next lunar samples. This is the next step in our efforts to bring the commercial sector into human exploration beyond low Earth orbit. When the Artemis program gets America back on the moon, at the earliest by 2024, NASA says it will pay private space companies that bring back new rocks. Space Florida says unlike the 60s and 70s, these samples are about understanding what it takes to stay on the moon. We're going to need to live off the land. So this is a first step in learning how to utilize the resources that are there. NASA says companies will have to document how they collected the dirt or the rocks and where on the moon it was gathered. NASA says it's a competition that's open to international companies as well. It's going to enable us to test a lot of different technologies than the original plan, which was a single NASA designed and built rover. Now we're going to have vehicles all around the moon, and it's going to get us there faster and cheaper. And hopefully faster to Mars as well, because NASA says establishing a permanent presence on the moon will be necessary for eventually going even deeper into space. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.